Hello, it's Vince Danzioni here, and in this video, we're going to be going through trading gold using Deriv, and we're using the MT5 web uh, terminal. So I haven't actually had to download the popular MT5 um, app. Now, of course, you can trade with Deriv using multiple uh, platforms, such as C Trader, um, obviously MT5, the popular. But what I'm using today is the web version. So um, the reason why I like this, it's a little bit more simple, especially if you're starting out um, and it's light. And again, it means I haven't downloaded anything. Um, so that's, that's the platform that I'm using today. But this is still relevant as well. Now, if you want, obviously, all the bells and whistles, then the full MT5 version has that. Um, but I find this is just a cleaner platform. It's also very, very quick as well. Um, so that's why I'm using the MT5 platform. Some of you might have seen Trading View, um, and you think, oh, this looks really similar to Trading View, and actually it does. Um, now, just to be clear, though, we're actually trading here as well. It's not just a charting platform. We actually are making um, trades as well. Now, this is a demo account, but it's exactly the same if we were using a live account. Um, so we're using Deriv as our broker, and we're using contracts of different CFDs. If you don't know too much about CFDs, you can obviously search them and learn more at Deriv.com. I've also got various little ebooks. I've just written a new one, How to Trade Commodities, which explains more. Um, so it's not physical, obviously, we, we're not actually taking delivery of the gold. The nice thing as well here with Deriv, we can obviously make money from the price going down as well as up. So we can go short and long. Um, and I'll, I'll show you a couple of examples as we go through. Now, before we go any further, the usual disclaimers, anything that I show you today, uh, when I say sell or buy, um, these are not recommendations, educational purposes only. And in fact, it, it's a demo account anyway, so we're not making real trades. I've actually got a trade here open already. XAU is gold uh, via the dollar. Remember, you always have to trade the, uh, the metal against the currency. The US dollar is the most popular. Um, I've actually got to buy at the moment. The entry price was 2507 and the current price when I'm recording this is uh, 2515 approximately. Um, the swap fee, if you don't know what a swap fee, and again, you can look this up as well, there's a cost of carrying a trade. Now, in a short trade, you're normally paid something. So if you look here, for example, this Wall Street 30 with Dow Jones, I'm actually short. So I've got a positive. Of the gold, I actually owe um, this amount. So this amount is actually being deducted from my profit. Um, now remember, even if I have a losing trade, I've still got to pay the swap fee. So think of the swap fee like as the interest rate uh, is what you're paying to hold trades overnight. Now, if you're just in and out very, very quickly, you probably won't be paying any swap fees. I tend to trade sort of longer term, um, days, weeks, rather than sort of minutes. Uh, but we'll go through a few examples. Okay, so if you're new to this, um, the web terminal, as I say, you just literally use any um, browser. So I've got Internet Explorer, you can use Chrome, any um, you like, and you can go through the derev.com or you can just go straight, just bookmark the page, and then you log in as usual, and then this comes up. So it's pretty easy. It's fairly customizable. Uh, for instance, I like the dark theme. If you like, you, know, you can change the, the bars here. If you like the lighter theme, you just hit on lighter there. Um, you can, of course, still download all the various apps. You've got economic calendars. You can change the languages. Um, there's also um, on here, which is interesting, actually something called shortcuts. And I've covered this in some previous videos. I'll only do it quickly. Um, rather than have to go through the long way, let's say, for instance, um, you want to bring up the volume or zoom in or zoom out. You don't have to go through um, all the you know the short you can just use the shortcuts as it says so say for instance here alt one alt two alt three if i just hold that on the keyboard alt one alt two and alt three you see what's happening the uh the chart is changing but we'll go back on to and of course we can do it we can do it from up here as well um and we can we can zoom in and zoom out but as I say I'm just at the moment just looking at one minute charts and I'm just looking at candlestick charts which is here I'm going to zoom in just a little bit to make that a little bit clearer so remember when we're looking at any sort of trading the uh, time frame makes a big difference so if you look at it on a one minute chart it looks quite different to a five minute chart or a 15 or a one hour or obviously dailies. I tend to use dailies like for longer term trends. 
if we look see here, obviously gold's been doing quite well. Uh, it's in an uptrend. And then if the data is available, um, you can also go to weekly and you can even go into monthly on certain contracts as well. Um, this goes back to 2010. But as I say, I'm going to go, go with just the one minute chart to show you um, this here. If there's economic news and you click on here, it will come up. This one here will take the um, this browser away if you obviously find that distracting. So just click on that. You see, you've got more chart. Um, but this is the finder. So say, for instance, we want to find and you can trade, you know, Forex from here. You can trade uh, energies like oil. Now I'm trading metals. And I say this video, we're mainly looking at gold. Of course, we can trade silver as well, uh, which is also um, a good market to look at. Um, but as I say, in the finder, we can find the various metals that are available. But we're going to stick with uh, XAU versus USD. You can also, um, and I'll, you know what I'll do now? Now I'll get rid of that because we don't need, we don't need that open. I'll also show you at the end of the video how we can also use third-party sites. Uh, because this is a web browser, we can have other windows open at the same time, and I'll quickly show you how that works um, at the end and show you where you can find some trading ideas. Technical analysis, you've got all your various tools. All I say regarding what platform you're using, be careful about adding too many indicators to any one site. Obviously, popular things like Bollinger Bands, we can add these, um, and then if you don't know much about these indicators like awesome oscillator or Bollinger Bands, you can look them up because they're not proprietary to Deriv or MT5. These are signals that are used or uh, indicators that are used. Now, if you've added too many on your site, um, you just go down to this box here and you can take them away. So I'm going to take the, uh, the Bollinger Bands off. I'll leave the moving average on. Now, I've got a 20 period moving average, sometimes I always say or 20 day. Um, of course, if you're looking at a daily chart, then it is a 20 day, that's the 20 day moving average, price above moving average, below is negative. But of course, if I come to one minute, then it becomes a 20 minute um, moving average. And right there, can you see where it breaks through the moving average, and this is short term, that would be a, a good sell signal. Now in the MT5, um, downloadable version, you can actually automate your trading a little bit more and you can uh, set things up like that to happen without you um, having to be uh, looking. So uh, you can automate your trade a little bit more. Up here, you can see the sell and the buy, obviously the spread, which is fairly tight. That's the difference is the profit margin. Here is the contract size. So say right now um, I wanted to um, go short and it's only a demo account here, so what I'll do, I'll just bring that contract down a little bit. I can just choose that here. I can choose, I can choose the trade size here. Okay, so let's say we go short, we go sell. And of course I can have two trades, I can have a buy and a sell open at the same time. And you say, well, why would you do that? Well, say for instance, I'm trading a longer term system and that's on the buy signal, and this is on a short uh, sell signal, which it is, I can run two trades um, at the same, you know, simultaneously. So I can trade more than one system um, on the same contract. So, but I've just done that, just an example trade. Now, how most of the time you'll make your trades, go up to here where it says new order, and you'll see the ticket which will open up, and you can place stop losses, you can place take profit, um, you can also decide how you want your trade to go through. Market execution is basically at the market. So that basically means, you know, you know buy or sell right away, whatever the price is now. Uh, buy limit, sell limit, we can obviously sell orders. Uh, we can put orders in, you know, if price hits 2510, then sell. If price hits 2520, then buy. Um, but most of the time, you're gonna be using market execution, which is on here. Um, here we've also got the trades open. If you don't want to see the trades, normally you have these open and you just want a bit more chart, just click on there and you'll see we've got a little bit more chart there as well. Uh, text, we can add uh, Fibonacci, we can add, add trend lines. Um, so it's got quite a lot of flexibility as well. Volume, if it's available. Um, and as I say, you've got a lot of technical trading tools as well. And then, um, say you know I'm using gold but of course you could be using silver just just as easily as the same 
So as I say, I've just literally just got a, a moving average running there, and I've got the price. And we can zoom in or zoom out as, as required. Um, that is basically it. Um, obviously, I, you know, most people will be trading basically technically rather than news-based. Of course, you know, there's news and fundamentals that will affect the price of gold. But I think for the majority of people, you're really going to be trading off price. There's various systems, um, of such as moving averages, breakouts. Um, some people look at things like three uh, candles. So if there's three down candles, they see that as a sell signal or three green candles as an up signal. Um, so th there's a variety of trading systems that you can look at. Let me show you something before uh, we wrap up. Now, as I say, I'm just using an Internet uh, Explorer. If you click up here, you can obviously open other windows as well. So let me open this one here and let me just make that a little bit smaller. And this is a chart. Uh, this is a site called Bar Chart, and I'm not recommending Bar Chart as in fact, this is free. I haven't logged in. They do have a more advanced service, which is obviously you have to pay for it. But what I'm showing you now is absolutely free. I haven't logged in and I haven't had to pay for it. Now, they obviously have gold, uh, they've got stocks. So if you could click up here to futures, so you go to Bar Chart and you go to futures, you'll be able to see all the various markets um, that are available. And it's not just commodity, they've got stocks as well, but because we're talking about gold, then obviously we want to look at gold. And that's the December contract, but that's fine, that's, that's near enough. The price that you're seeing on the main chart is, uh, is actually the cash price. So that's why there might be a slight difference in there. And then if you look at here where it says select page, so what, what I'm doing here, this is coming off a website, and this is the, uh, this is the, uh, MT5 platform. Okay, so I've like got two, and obviously I could have more windows running. And where it says bar chart opinion, I can use this to help me find, and obviously uh, this is updated every 20 minutes. So let me just get rid of that because we don't want the ad. And right now there's a 72% buy recommendation. I don't say you just buy and sell based on this, but you can use it as it says, like an opinion. And what they do. Um, they go through the various indicators. So is the Bollinger Band on a buy or a sell? Is it above the 20 day moving average? Um, and we know it is if we go to the daily, where's the daily chart? 1D, just go to there, it is still above. So all these things, all these various factors, they will, um, they will there. and then they'll come up with a signal based on that. It's just to give you an idea, if you're thinking of going short on something, and this thing has got 100% buy, you might just want to check and just make sure you've got it the right way around. Things like support and resistances, it will work all that out for you. Um, and in fact, you can go even further. If you click on this, it's what's called a trader's cheat sheet. And um, it will give you a lot of technical um, information that, uh, and I say, that can help you just to judge things, places like stops, for instance. It might be a place where you want to put a stop um, and that's to say, I, I actually haven't paid anything for that. This is a free um, version of barchart.com. So I'm running this to help find signals or su support resistance. And then I'm coming over to this side where I'm using the MT5 system and obviously using Deriv as the broker um, to actually make the trades. And of course, you can go anywhere on here. I've just used Barchart as an example. Um, you know, you could, you could easily go to Bloomberg or whatever, or CNBC, but it's just a way that you can have, obviously, something open as well as seeing this chart to help you find some signals. So I thought I'd just throw that in there at the end and just to show you. I think one of the best things to do um, is actually just, you know, try out, if, if you haven't used the MT5 um, web platform before, just try it out and see what you think. I'm just going to close that down there. Okay, we'll go back to full stop. And let's say this is a demo account. With Deriv, you get a $10,000 demo account, um, which is risk-free and you can top up. And you obviously can have, because again, it's web-based, I could have the demo account open and a real account at the same time, so I can switch between the two. Um, also, if you're new to commodities, um, search on Deriv, How to Trade uh, Commodities by myself, Instancioni. It's a new ebook I've written exclusively for Deriv. 
And I talk more about trading systems in there as well. And then you can try them out um, using uh, MT5 or any of the platforms. Um, I'm also doing a few more videos as well. So look out, there's gonna be one on Bitcoin and uh, trading soft commodities as well. Okay, thanks for watching.